student council, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start. Ms. Harris, Councilwoman Harris, we give us our prayer, please. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Lord, we just want to thank you this afternoon. You've been so good and you've been so kind. Lord, saturate our mind, our thoughts. Wrap your loving arms around us, oh God. Come into this meeting, oh God. Lord, do it today, God. Lord, we give you glory this afternoon. We give you honor and we give you praise. You've been so good, oh God. Bind the devils in our mind. Bind the devils in our community on our jobs, in each department, God. Lord, we thank you right now for what you're going to do in West Memphis. West Memphis is on a rise, God. We've been stagnated for 50 some years. We need some new stuff, God. We need you, Lord, to do something in West Memphis that's never been done before. Shake us up, God. Shake us up, oh God, and loosen us, God. What, we too tight? Lord, loosen us up. If we're too loose, tighten us up, oh God. Let him bring that love that runs from heart to heart in this city, God. Cover this city with your blood. Fill it with your love. Let your mercy abide in here, around here, and through us, oh God. Bless the minds of your people, oh God. Encourage our merit them, oh God. Strengthen them, oh God. And Lord, the ones that work around him, God. Give us a leadership attitude, God. Lord, you bless this place, oh God, the more, oh God. And we thank you right now, Lord, for your loving kindness and your goodness and your mercy. Oh God, continue to look on our police department, Lord. Pretend to protect them as they go through these holiday season, Lord. Lord, wrap your loving arms around the fire department, Lord, and look on our finance department. We need some help, oh God. We need some directions, oh God. Help us, Lord, to make some sound, found directions in this city, oh God. Lord, we thank you right now because we got good leadership. And we got the body, God. So we need you, Lord, to saturate our minds. Wrap us in your spirit. Let your word come forth in this building, oh God, right now, God. Do your work in each and every one of us, oh God. Give us that love that runs from heart to heart and breast to breast. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you right now, Lord. You said we have now because we ask now. So we asking you, oh God, to help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us be the right leaders for this city, oh God. Help us to make the right decisions, oh God. Wrap us up, God. The ones that don't like it, Lord, Lord, you seal them up, oh God. Give them some love, oh God. Let them bend their knees more, oh God. Lord, we thank you right now, God. We thank you right now, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and praise God. Amen. Let's face the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to call this meeting to order. Clerk, will you please uh, call the roll for us? Mayor McClendon. Present. City Attorney Stevenson. Absent. City Treasurer Souter. Here. Council Member Bruce. Here. Council Member Cat. Here. Council Member Croon. Here. Council Member Harris. Here. Council Member Hope. Here. Council Member Hutchison. Here. Council Member Muhammad. Present. Council Member Monday. Here. Councilmember Murray. Here. Councilmember Willis. Here. 10 out of 10, present, man. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, we have 10 out of 10 present. Uh, I call this meeting to order. In the absence of the city attorney, I'll be reading the titles. Uh, minutes. Can I get a motion to second to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Who made the motion? I did. You made Mr. the motion. Mr. Prune made the second. I made the motion. Thank all right. We're going to go to old business. Um, it was your wishes during pre-council that we table this to our next meeting and tentatively uh, meeting Tuesday at 3.30 to go through the final details of questions you may have about this ordinance. I make a motion we do. Second. Yeah, Councilman Kent and you had Councilman Wheeler's motion to second it. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's tabling to next week. 
Our second reading of ordinance to repeal ordinance number 876 of the City of West Memphis, amending section 2 of the ordinance number 372, and for other purposes. Mayor, if I may, um, this item and the next three that we read by title only. Okay. Could, can we get uh, someone to give a little clarification on the one that we're reading currently? Uh, may I ask for a second? Second. 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 Okay, Mr. Holt, second. Well, this is on the second. Well, it's about dancing on Broadway, but it's only on the second reading, so you all are not voting on it today. Right. All right. Uh, Councilman Kevin, you make that motion on the, the. I guess do you want to do it individually? Mayor, I was just going to make a motion that the next four items on the agenda. Three. Oh, you can't make. Well. Yes, for the next three. And then we get okay. Okay, I guess it may look there when that then we'll do it again. Just be seven. Okay. All right. Councilman Kent made a motion. Second. Second. Who's mayor second? second. They mayor second, okay. The second reading of an ordinance providing for the levy of a one fourth to one percent zero point two five sales and use tax within the city of West Memphis, Arkansas and prescribing other matters pertaining thereto. It's ready for a second time. It'll be back on the agenda in two weeks for you to vote. For well, also on the second reading, a reading of an ordinance called in a special election in the city of West Memphis, Arkansas on the questions of leveling a citywide one form of one cent point two five sales and use tax and prescribing other matters pertaining thereto. The second reading of an ordinance called a special election in the city of West Memphis, Arkansas on the questions of issuing bonds under the amendment number 62 to the Constitution of the state of Arkansas for the purpose of financing all or a portion of the cost of capital improvements, levying a new three-fourths of 1% percent point seven five sales and use tax for the purpose of retiring such bonds and prescribing other matters pertaining thereto. That's been read for a second time as well. It'll be on the agenda next week for us, for us to vote on. Mr. Bowman, come forward, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. J just for the record, uh, when we voted to suspend the rules and put it on its second reading by title only, uh, what, was there a vote with respect to that motion? I just wanted to clarify that there was a, a vote with respect to the suspension of the rules. Well, no, I mean, we didn't okay. suspend the rules. We just okay. for, for, that, for that second reading, there was a, a motion and a second to suspend the rules. There could, was a motion second to read by title to, only. To read by title only. You're correct. There was right, not a right. vote of the council. C could, could there be a vote of the council for the, for the record, please, with respect to that motion? Thank you. The motion is second. Yeah. The motion was to read those four items by title only. Okay, who second that with it? Mr. Murray? Mr. Murray. Okay, will you call the roll, Mr. Clerk? What do we call, I'm sorry, what do we call the roll on? This is clear. We're backtracking. We had a motion and a second to read these by title only. Uh -huh. There was a motion and a second, but there was not an official vote of the entire council. We just went straight to reading. So this is to clear that issue up. Okay. Okay. You good with that? I'm good, yes, okay. sir. Thank you all. All right. Council Member Bruce? Yes. Council Member Kett? Yes. Councilmember Croon? Pass. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Councilmember Hope? Pass. Councilmember Hutchinson? Councilmember Hutchinson? I start saying here. Uh, what am I saying? Yes. <laughs> Councilmember Muhammad? Yes. Councilmember Mundy? Yes. Councilmember Mary? Yes. Councilmember Wheeler? Pass. Uh, Mr. Croon and Mr. Willis, do you want to vote? I would ask that you vote uh, in the positive. This is normally we do not have a motion in a second to read an ordinance by title only the second time. We just read them. The reason this is being done is the legality of this particular nature. Uh, they feel that they're more comfortable with having that motion approved. Uh, and we will do the same thing on the third reading. Well, I mean, you got, you got, you got seven fours and three passes so that 
Well, I mean, you, if you, it, it's enough. It's enough to pass. Yeah. I just want you all to keep in mind, and I understand when we have votes on the council that we pass, and, and we may have a conflict mm -hmm. or something. Like I know Mr. Kent may have a conflict or something, or it may be a family member involved, or it may be many reasons, and and we expect you to abstain. But I think the people have elected us to vote yes <laughs> or no, and just make a vote and go from there. But it was enough to pass that, that motion. So it was eight to two. It passed. Seven, seven, three. Seven, 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 three. Yeah. Who was the third? Uh, it was Mr. Mr. Holt. Mr. Holt. Mr. Holt. Mr. Holt. Mr. Uh, you, you passed? I, I'm going to say yes. So that. Okay. It was eight to two. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Oh, it was an eight to two vote in passes. Thank you. We're going down to new business. I'm going to ask Ms. Muhammad would she make a motion. Right. I'd like to make a motion that we read R1, R2 by title only. Uh, can Ms. Muhammad get a second? Second. Dr. Bruce. Second. Dr. Bruce. Dr. Bruce. Ms. Muhammad and Dr. Bruce. Uh, a resolution awarding all city employees a two thousand dollar bonus. It was made. There was not a vote cast. There was just a motion and a second. Mm -hmm. There was just a motion and a second. There was not a vote cast by the council for you to start reading. I thought he said all in favor. Aye. Okay. Let me. Will you call the roll on that that motion three by Taylor alone? Councilmember Bruce? Yes. Councilmember Kett? Yes. Councilmember Croom? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Councilmember Hope? Yes. Councilmember Hutchinson? Yes. Councilmember Muhammad? Yes. Councilmember Monday? Yes. Councilmember Murray? Yes. Councilmember Wheelers? Yes. We got 10 out of 10. It passes uh, that we read by title on the R1 and R2. So R1, a resolution awarding all city employees a $2,000 bonus from the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security CARES Act Pandemic Relief Funds. Can I get a motion and second to approve? So I moved. Second. second. Okay, Ms. Muhammad, did she? Second. Sound like I heard Mr. Monday. Yeah, Ms. Muhammad and Mr. Monday. Yeah. All right, in discussion. Yes, Mayor, uh, I'd like to ask that we amend the resolution. Uh, after in the title where it says a resolution, I like to insert at the mayor's discretion. I would like to know test. why. Well, I think Let's, the reason. Do you want me to answer? Well, I, there's you a motion and a second. 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 At your discretion. Yeah. At the mayor's discretion. Yes. The re the reason why that I'm I'm being told. Can we do a second. Mr. Holt, yes. second. Oh, okay. The reason what under my understanding is why it's just because you have people that have been here three months, people that have been here one week, you got people that's getting ready to leave Friday. So if you don't have some type of uh, restrictions within it, you're going to pay a $2,000 check to every employer, regardless they leaving next week or they leaving, um, or they ain't been here for two or three weeks, and you got employees that have been here for years doing the work, during the pandemic. And that's the reason why that they want some type of restrictions on who all gets the $2,000. Well, that was that was the question I had pre-council was define all. I mean, I didn't I didn't know the definition of all. And then we have part-time employees as right. well. Right. Part-time. All right. Now, Miss Miss Muhammad, that's me. Um, drafted this resolution based on the budget hmm. hearing that we had. If these things were to be brought out, they should have been brought out at that particular time. Now, I heard this before we ever had this meeting that someone was going to say, what about the ones who've just been here for a little while? Well, and I heard myself saying, common sense will tell you if a person has just started working, they need the money more than the ones who've already been here because they are already behind and trying to catch up. The money would do good. Now, I could see if this was monies coming out of the general fund, but it is not. The city has no dealings. It's not coming out of nothing from the city. This is from the pandemic money. And I don't know about how you all feel, but I'm speaking from humanity at this particular point. Now, let me just be clear, extremely clear, because I thought I was going to cry because of this little $2,000 
that we are giving our employees, but I'm not going to cry. Instead, I'm going to be very, very bold. There's already enough bullying going around and enough dictating going around from what I'm hearing publicly already. Allow me to take my mask off, please. Take it Go off. ahead. Because I really want to speak what's in my heart right now. Right. It's $2,000, whether you've been here one day or 100 days, 1,000 uh, days. Amen. Our city employees deserve it. I'm not thinking about city council members. Mm -hmm. Could I use 2,000 extra dollars? I most certainly can. Amen. I mean, you have dubbed me, Mayor McClinton, as the ghetto queen mm -hmm. because I live in a poor area of town. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to live where I live. The people where I live love me. They appreciate me being there. And since I am, and I have been dubbed as a ghetto queen, I've got to take care of all of our employees because a lot of those employees live in what someone called the ghetto. Huh? Go ahead. That's the radio. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm going, to, I'm going to stick to my guns and not let Mayor McClinton have any discretion over this because he's not the first string holder. We as city council members, we have the discretion to give this money or to allocate this money. And I'm very, very concerned about all of our city employees. Yes, we do have some that are part-time, but when they come, they work as hard as anybody else. That's right. It's not city money. It's not coming from the budget. It's coming from the CARES Act money. The city will not lose anything. So my answer to this at his discretion will be no. Ms. Muhammad, I, I got some on one head. One thing you, you said that was, uh, I want to get clear. You said I dubbed you at the ghetto coin. I never you called did. you. Do, no oh, then. yes, sir. Sitting no, right then. there in my living no, room. No, I didn't. I have never dubbed you at the ghetto my coin. My daughter heard okay, you. Okay, if your he daughter right can speak there, there I have never, room, I never heard no And I can tell you the scenario uh, okay, around okay, it. Okay, you were asking uh, me about uh, a corner right there uh, on my street where those men hang out all of the time. And you said, do they keep it clean? I said, they don't give me any problem. As a matter of fact, they come to my house, knock on my door, and say, Miss Muhammad, if you run us away from here, we're just old men. We'll have nowhere to go. I give them garbage bags. I give them paper grabbers. They keep it as clean as they can. And you said, well, that's all right, because you are the ghetto queen. Okay, well, I will Muhammad, never forget at, that. At the, at never, the point, never, 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 okay, never. Well, the point that my you, daughter is sitting right in the next room, and she heard I, you. I'm going to ask you, Ms. Muhammad, to let me speak now. Speak. I'm finished. I'm at, finished. At, at, at this point, I'm like finished. I said, we are going to disagree on that. But when you talk right. about that for the city employees, there's no one care more about my city employees than I do. I have, hold on, I haven't said, no, let me explain to you what I'm saying, because I'm here with them 56 hours a week, y'all here yeah. a couple of meetings out of the month, oh, no, so no, let no, me no. finish, so let me finish what I'm saying, I'm not, first off, I didn't come up with this idea, you didn't call me, you apologized to me for not calling me, let me know what's going on, I and, I, and I said, you and asked I, me no, I asked you, you why you didn't, asked me can I finish, Ms. Muhammad, and I said, I'm, I'm not, sorry, I'm not going to talk time. over you, I'll I be quiet, let you talk. Okay. Uh, you well, you said well exactly what you said. So I want you, uh, and it's upsetting me too. Cause I want you to understand that I'm not against this. I didn't come up with a reason to say, well, let me do this in my discretion. The council did this. It was not me. I didn't so, say no, so I want you to know because you may say that Marco should have the stretch, but I do think that if you making a point that. Everyone, whether they've been here a one one day or they've been here ten years, should, should make a difference. It does make a difference because there's been some people here that had to stick it out during this pandemic, work during this pandemic, and the people that hasn't been here no more than a week. So you make the difference. And say it's the same. It's not the same. Now I'm not against not giving my people two thousand dollars. I'm with giving the our city employees the money. I just don't want you to make it seem like I came up with this motion to at the marriage discretion because I did not. I did not come up with that. Who came up with it? I made the motion, ma'am. You okay. made the motion. Okay. But you're the budget chair. Why didn't you say that when we had the budget hearing uh, last week? You're the budget chair. Because I like and to look at things and to, research it. You agreed to the recommendation. I like to look and see what we've done in the past. I don't like making decisions at the spur of the moment, so I went back and looked at what we've done in the it's past. It's CARES Act money. It's not, it's not city money. Ma'am, I, I made a motion. And, sir, I don't accept your motion. The council can vote on that now. I know, mm -hmm. I know. So between, between us, Mayor McClinton, you called me on my job asking me about this 
resolution. You exactly right. I did. That I sat down and put my heart into. Can I, can I just say no, and put my heart into. We need to leave this alone. Well, no, no, hold on. Man, man, I want to say we don't tell this. I want heart. the city employees to get the money, so it ain't your heart. It's the city council as a whole going to vote on giving the people. So it ain't, it's not one thing that one councilman gave you all. It's going to be that whatever this whole council body agree on. And I agree with the two thousand dollars. I'm not vetoing it. I'm not against it. I'm hoping that they do pass it for you all. So it's not one individual who done that. It's to be everyone that on this council board. Who, if they vote yes, they give you all their money. I'll continue. You called me on my job and asked me about the resolution. Moments after I brought it in, I don't know how the word got out so quickly. I had to hurry. I was going through with my daughter, trying to do many different things. I had to hurry and try to type this to get it here on time before noon of that particular Monday. 20 minutes later, you called. How you got the word so quickly? I don't know. You're the mayor. You get the word. You said that some, kid, some city council members wanted to know why were they not included. Can I answer that question for you? The reason why they were not included, because just like you said, it ain't budget money, it's CARES Act money. So it really doesn't matter right. because it's not the budget money, it's CARES Act. So if that's the case, if that's the case, Mr. Muhammad, you got a mayor that sat here and worked 60 hours a week with these men and women, right. and you got council people that come here every day like yourself and work with the city and poor. So if, if, at your point, if it's not budget money and it just curves that money, if they wanted it, if I wanted it, it shouldn't be no big deal whether right. or not you give it or not. And that is what you said well, because you said, I want wait, my $2,000. That's what you said yeah. to me. I, I, I disagree with you. You did I'd say like that. Go ahead, call I want my $2,000. Yeah. Yeah. what you said. Okay. I'm ready to call for a vote. Call for the vote. Wait for me to get the second. One second. Uh, Mr. Holt, Mr. Holt. Voting on to give the city vote. employees a $2,000 raise, all of them. Ms. Muhammad, y'all need to take this in the back room. It's enough of this. Excuse me. It's a motion made right now, uh, what Tracy made, the motion is second. So you all, you, all, you all go here and call Ms. Pullion when you call the roll on that motion that Tracy and Mr. Holt made. Can, can we, we the repeat the motion? Oh, what, 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 repeat the motion? The motion is after the in the short in the title a resolution insert the words at the mayor's discretion. You call the roll. Okay. Councilmember Bruce. No. Councilmember Cat. Yes. Councilmember Croom. Councilmember Croom. Yes. Councilmember. Excuse me. I will re pull it back to say no. Councilmember Croon, vote no. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Councilmember Harris, yes. Yes. You clear on the motion? I'm just yes. trying to make sure everybody clear on yes. the motion. Yes. Okay. All right, Councilmember Council Harris, vote yes. Councilmember Hope? Yes. Councilmember Hope, vote yes. Councilmember Hudson? Pass. Councilmember Pass. Come back to me, pass. Councilmember Muhammad? No. Councilmember Monday? Yes. Councilmember Mary? No. Councilmember Wheelers? No. Okay, man, you get it. No, you get one, two, three, four no's. Yeah, you go back to Ms. Hutchinson. She okay, said Ms. Hutchinson, you, you voting? Are you voting? Uh, I said sustain. Huh? She sustained. Councilmember Bruce, you got one, two, Three, four no's, one, two, three passes. And this is so confusing. Then the motion failed. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The motion failed. Now we go back to the original motion by Ms. Muhammad and Dr. Bruce. Okay, I, I have something I want to say. And basically, I guess I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, we're getting ready to uh, hopefully pass this resolution so the uh, employees can get this money. And if y'all recall, probably about four months, well, I guess four weeks ago, a month or two, I talked about this. Mm -hmm. And so it was said that they didn't really know how much money was there. But as a council, we have to sit down and start looking at things to see where and what, what, what money is where. That's a must. We cannot make intelligent decisions on 
how to do different things if we don't have all the information. So yes, I'm for it. And I think everybody deserves it. And when I say that, you have to think about nurses get bun uh, bonuses before they even start. Now, we are in the Delta, and every employee that's working here in this city deserves, and, and I'm sure need, this money. Let's do the right thing. You, you can't always give them raises, but we should at least give them the bonuses. I don't care if they're leaving or not. If they work during this pandemic and they're leaving tomorrow, they still deserve that, that funding. And that's all I'm going to say. Hmm. I think you have a motion. Are you making a motion? No, we have a motion. Ms. Muhammad made the motion and Dr. Bruce okay. second and then his motion made. So did the vote. Let's call the vote. You said what? I was going to say, did the motion pass or fail? That we no, that motion, it, it passed. That, the first one passed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, but then Tracy made the motion to. That one fail. That one fail. Okay. okay. First the funds or is the city council? And that's that's the two issues we're working yeah. at. Right? And the one for the mayor to do it fail. So now it's yes. back on the so original. Uh, Y'all want to be in control. Okay. Yeah. So this first thing we're going to vote. They give them. Okay. The funds. Yes. All right. I'm with y'all now. That's all we're doing okay. right now, discussing on how's going, who's going to disperse this fund. This his mo the motion on this one has to go through before we vote for the other. Excuse me one minute. Uh, McClurk, she's trying to take the minutes, but there's too much motion going on talking, so she's getting confused. So if you don't mind, one at a time, please. Go ahead. You going to call the vote? Sure. Is there not any more discussion? No, we're not voting here. on the resolution. Vote on the resolution. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes presented. Yeah, we're voting on the resolution and get an employee to $2,000. That means Ca all. All. I mean, that mean, that mean that the one that just started today, and the one that leaving next week. Right. And everybody in between. That's everybody. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Moment, call it. Okay. Mayor, did you say there's 385 employees involved with this? Do this include part-time? Sure of the amount. Yes, yes it is. I, That's I all. Think, we agree to part-time. I think that would be part-time as well. 384 employees. If they're part-time, I want to get it clear from Ms. Muhammad. Uh, all employees. All employees. Okay. All, okay. All, everybody. Everybody. Hmm. Now, you and that? Yes. Call the roll. Okay. Council Member Bruce? Yes. Council Member Cat? No. Council Member Croon? Um, yes. Council Member Harris? <coughs> Y'all clear that for me. We, what we're voting on now? That's so much confusing. The resolution. The resolution. No, you, you're giving everybody two thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, see, that the employees. That's the employees. All the employees. Right. All. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Councilmember Harris votes yes. Councilmember Hope. Yes. Councilmember Hope votes yes. Councilmember Hutchinson. Yes. Councilmember Hutchinson votes yes. Councilmember Muhammad. Yes. 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 Councilmember Hope votes yes. Councilmember Monday. Yeah. Councilmember Monday votes yes. Councilmember Mary? Yes. Councilmember Murray vote yes. Councilmember Willis? Yes. Councilmember Willis vote yes. Nine out of ten. You got nine out of ten that voted. Congratulations. You all get a two thousand dollar budget. <laughs> uh Mr. Clark, would you get that resolution a number? Okay, it's gonna be resolution number twenty two sixty. Twenty two sixty. All right. R2, I'm going to go to R2, a resolution approving a revision of the 2021 budget. Uh, budget Chair, you want to give a small explanation on that real quick? Yes, sir. The funds that were received, the $3 million, like I say, has been received by the city, but it has not been incorporated into the budget. We need permission from the council to do that. 
the six hundred seventy one thousand dollars was not originally budgeted uh, it is this is the work that needs to be performed in order to get a bid pack out and get the numbers back for the parks project that citizens voted on the nine million and fifty thousand to give you the authority to actually pay these funds out so we need council approval on that all right Hearing that, take a motion and second to approve. So moved. Second. second. Uh, Mr. Uh, Clerk, will you call the roll on that as well? Okay. All right. Councilmember Gross? Yes. Councilmember Cat? Yes. Councilmember Croon? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Councilmember Hope? Yes. Councilmember Hutchison? Yes. Councilmember Muhammad? Yes. Councilmember Monday? Yes. Councilmember Murray? Yes. Councilmember Wheeler? Yes. 10 out of 10. We have 10 out of 10. That passed. So would you get that resolution and number, please? It's going to be 2261. 2261. Permission request. Permission authorizing the mayor to execute a professional service agreement with HDR Engineering Incorporated for engineering services at the Port of West Memphis with the agreement having been approved by the West Memphis Port Authority and referred to the City Council. The agreement amount is 274000 and will be paid from the Port Authority account from the Office of Economic Development. Uh, we had Ms. Mallory to come up a little earlier and give her an explanation. explanation. I get a motion and a second to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Who made that motion? Second. Second. Who made the motion? Council, who second? Ms. Harris. Harris second. All, right, all in favor, aye. aye. Opposed? It passes. Uh, committee reports. Personnel? Yes, sir. Uh, Mayor. The <coughs> personnel, personnel committee met on October 13th. The agenda included uh, the discussion of the $200 vaccina vaccination bonus. Staff was advised that approximately 230 employees received checks and to be expecting the next round of checks in the month of November. Next, we discussed uh, members were informed about the flu shot. They'll be given sometime in November and those shots will be administered through East Arkansas. So be uh, Looking for more information on that. The meeting also um, concluded information on members that so that for the supplies. I'm sorry, of I'm the uh, PPP supplies, they are limited. But if you should need more supplies, ordering uh, will be done through our purchasing agent, Mr. Kenneth Johnson. Director Coleman informed mem informed members that open enrollment will be in the second week of December and that it is vital for personal information to be updated to make the process go smoothly. A brief discussion of the employee of the year, uh, Mr. Kenneth Johnson, in whom we congratulate again. Uh, we recognized him in the last council meeting. Community outreach discussed the recent city trunk or treat that um, went by to my understanding extremely well. And then lastly, the announcements were the emergency management team will be hosting a fire ex extinguishing training. And I think that has already happened. Mind you, I'm giving notes uh, from several weeks ago. So some of these, some of these things have already happened. Open discussion was had. I'm not going to read all this. I'm sorry. Uh, open discussion. Open, open discussion was had and concluded, and then the meeting was concluded at approximately 12:57, and that's the end of the personnel. Thank you. Hudson, can I? I missed the first part of something about flu shots, or okay. Let's see. Let me go back to the flu shots. And I'm, I'm, I'm reading just my agenda updates. This is what we, we discussed uh, on October. Members were informed to be expecting more information okay. regarding flu shots, which will be held sometime in November. East Arkansas will be administering the shots. 
because of the positive interactions the city has had with the facility previous years. Mm -hmm. So for that, Council Chrome, I think we pretty much was just, we, we were putting out the fact that flu shots will be, you know, given in November. Yes, sir. Please come to the podium. Come to the podium, Ms. Coleman. Thank you, which would be the co-chair. I, I didn't see you back there. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Uh, just flu shots, just real quick, will be administered tomorrow at the utilities training uh, facility, and it'll be from 10 to 12. Um, I believe you all should have those forms. Um, uh, you know, for you all to fill out, yes, yes, let me see that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. But you all should have these forms to fill out and just bring those um, along with you to the, uh, to the clinic. That's if you would like to get one for tomorrow, but they are tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Any questions regarding flu shots? I'm a, I'm a day late, a dollar short. I got mine <laughs> yesterday. All right. So. All right, thank you. But I'm glad we're doing this. Thank you, Ms. Coleman. And just to thank you and your staff for yesterday, uh, the personnel committee, all of the uh, department heads that came out on yesterday, thank you all so much. Uh, it was exactly what we intended. We intend to continue those conversations. Um, I, and like I, and I, I, I had the opportunity to speak with different individuals, different employees, different department heads. We're listening, and, and that's what's most important. In spite of maybe what you sometimes see, we, we are listening and it, and it matters. So the beginning of those conversations were very uh, much needed and I appreciate each person that uh, participated on yesterday. That mayor concludes the personnel committee minutes. Councilwoman Hutchinson, will you proceed with A&P? I certainly will, sir. As you all have in front of you, the West Memphis Advertising and Promotion Commission met on October 20th. Here are the highlights. The minutes were presented from the September 15th A&P, which were passed unanimously. Under the financial report, Jim Jackson presented to the commission the proposed 2022 budget. Commissioner Scott Ferguson made the motion to present the 2022, 2022 budget to the West Memphis City Council for approval. Commissioner Reinhardt seconded the motion and it was passed. Old business. Warehouse space. Again, Jim Jackson informed the commission that the warehouse project was still moving <coughs> forward, that it would be around 2,500 square feet, and there would be enough room for extra parking space, uh, and as well may be able to be striped. Stripped, right? Uh, under Christmas decoration bids, one bid came in 48,300 by festive designs. Decorations will begin going up soon. Under new business, Jim Jackson gave information that in light of vaccinations, that the capacity limits will be raised for the Eugene Wood Civic Center and the Civic Auditorium. Commissioner Scott Ferguson made a motion to raise the limit from 150 to 300 for the Eugene Woods Civic Center and that the Civic Auditorium be raised from 250 to 500 people. Commissioner Mike Patel seconded the motion and it was passed unanimously. Last, celebration incentive concert. Jim Jackson proposed that a concert be held in the Civic, City, Civic Auditorium, that's a tongue to the six, Civic Auditorium, where those that show their vaccination cards will be allowed to attend for free. Uh, multiple ideals were discussed on how this type of event should take place, as well as how we could promote the event to the citizens of West Memphis. Commissioner Scott Ferguson made a motion to use up to $20,000 as a raffle lottery that would break down where 20 people would, re would receive $1,000 during a celebration incentive event for those that have been fully vaccinated by a certain date that would be later de determined by the AMP commission. Of course, that motion was seconded uh, unanimously. The meeting adjourned at 510 with no more business to attend to. And that mayor concludes my report for our AMP commission. 
All right, thank you, Ms. Hutchinson. Uh, we're gonna go to police. Yes, sir, Mayor, the police, and please, I apologize for my emotions. This is just something that was so near and dear to my heart, and I ask that you please forgive me and have mercy on me for my outburst on today. The police commission met on November 1st at 12.15 p.m. The narrative by Chief Pope, his theme is the good news in the West Memphis Police Department. There was a body dump on Mound City Road, white male. Suspects from Memphis <coughs> have been apprehended. The city of West Memphis will handle the case as the suspects were all from Memphis and we will just probably charge them with uh, illegal dumping of a corpse. The suspect at the Shell gas station shooting has been apprehended. He was apprehended in Minnesota and the young lady who was shot, of course I know that family, and of course she did a great job in describing and giving information to help lead to that apprehension of the suspect. Chief Pope has <clears throat> instituted a special enforcement zero tolerance unit. There will be three additional officers from each shift on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to work overtime to help combat the crime here in the city of West Memphis. Through this effort this past weekend, there were 27 felony arrests, correct me if I'm incorrect, 18 misdemeanor arrests, 60 doses of hydrochlorozazel, is that right? Uh, I put spell on here because I didn't have spell. 51 tablets of ecstasy, 67 grams of ecstasy, 14 ounces of marijuana, 15 doses of tramadol, 1.5 grams of meth, five ounces of cocaine, and much more were confiscated through this concerted effort. On Sunday, October 31st, the police department held its first Halloween safety, safety bash. There were over 600 hamburgers and hot dogs given out. There were also 500 goodie bags of candy and treats. Those participating in this effort were police officers, West Memphis cadets, police secretaries, dispatchers, clerk, Mayor Marco McClinton, City Councilperson Lorraine Muhammad, and City Councilman Willis Mundy, who also donated candy. All food and candy was donated by businesses and citizens of West Memphis. Chief Pope also uh, was also instrumental in getting the slingshot motorcycle riders from Memphis to participate in this event. Mayor McClendon and Chief Pope presented Lieutenant Dyke, who retired after 27 years of service, a plaque, and he was given his service gun. The retirement celebration ended with a fish fry, and that ends my report. Councilman McKay, did you want to speak on the budget? Sir, the, all the matters they addressed have already been handled by the council today. Okay. I have no appointments. I do have a couple of presentations. First, I want to start during this pandemic also. There have been some workers that have really contributed to our city and our county and just all over. They was um, they worked extremely hard. Was uh, They were overlooked sometimes. Uh, I, I, I will also call them essential. And that was the uh, women and gentlemen at the uh, Arkansas Workforce Division. I want to recognize their service uh, at the Arkansas Work Service by saying where it's the executive branch mayor office of the city of West Memphis would like to congratulate the workers of the state of Arkansas Workforce Division in West Memphis for outstanding services rendered to the citizens of West Memphis and this county. Whereas the Workforce Division team under the leadership of local manager D. Jeanette Smith has been very dedicated and productive in working through the pandemic and other challenging times. They have endured major challenges to help persons in need of assistance with various employment opportunities. Whereas the Arkansas Workforce Division services are being provided through this state agency, which does not earn a profit and does not measure success by business growth and expansion, but are 99% federally funded with tax dollars. And the Arkansas Workforce Division <laughs> provides individuals with tools they need to enhance and sustain their employability 
and through the education and training, skill training offered to job seekers, employers, and reducing the hidden costs associated with lost production time and turnover rates by hiring qualified workers. Whereas the executive branch would like to personally commend the local office manager, Ms. Dejanette Smith, the TANF supervisor, Sandra Atwater, case managers, correct me if I said this wrong now, uh, Tilia Adams, Anita Ringold, and Stephanie Lee, unemployment specialists, Richard Shackelford, and Shandrika Britt, and also employment specialist and business team affiliate, Tamika Conway, for their professionalism in dealing with all constituents of West Memphis and Crittenden County. Now therefore, now, therefore, I, Mayor Marco McClendon of the City of West Memphis, appreciate their efforts and work performed by the State of Arkansas Workforce Division in Arkansas and urge the citizens of West Memphis to please give them special recognition on this day of the State of Arkansas Workforce Division of the City of West Memphis to surrender. These beautiful ladies are here today. Will you join me on stage? I just want to personally, good afternoon, I see a lot of familiar faces, I hope you all can hear me. I definitely want to take time out to thank the mayor for recognizing us at the West Memphis Workforce Center. I would like to thank some of my staff that are here today. And as he stated, we definitely worked tremendously hard during the pandemic for the past one year and a half to take care of the citizens of Crittenden County as well as Shelby County and the state of Mississippi. We worked tireless hours to ensure that the citizens were able to receive their unemployment insurance benefits, the stimulus benefits. I mean, we were all over the place with trying to accommodate the sheer volume of individuals that were coming to the workforce center. And not only were we taking care of the citizens, we were also servicing employers. We deal with a large, massive amount of employers here in Crittenden County, such as Pino, Family Dollar. We deal with a sheer volume of employers in Shelby County area. So we worked a lot of hours to take care again of the citizens. Now things have kind of slowed down, but we still are in the process of accommodating employers to try to fill vacant positions. There, there, there's an issue with accommodating a lot of vacant positions with the number of employers. So if you all know of anyone that need work, be sure to refer them to the Workforce Center because we got a lot of openings um, uh, in both small businesses and some of the large industries in the area. So we, we have a lot of projects that we have in place to try to fill those gaps that employers are facing with trying to uh, fill those positions. So again, we, I, I thank the staff, the leadership of Ms. Atwater and some of my staff when I was not able to, to be present. And again, if, if you guys know of anyone that's looking for work, let them know that we at the Workforce Center were located on the campus of ASU Ms. South. I see a lot of familiar faces, but we're there to service <coughs> them and the employers here in the area. So we're oftentimes seen as the unsung heroes. So we really appreciate this, Mayor McClendon, because um, we, we didn't get any recognition. So this is really a blessing on today. Thank you all so much.
I also have a second presentation. I'm going to ask Chief Pope, will he join me, please? And Mr. Lieutenant Dykes, will you come forward? Once again, I want to thank uh, Lieutenant Dyke for serving with the city of West Memphis after 27 years of dedication and loyalty and giving his, well, placing his life on the line every day for the citizens of West Memphis. I want to say thank you for your commitment. And I want to give you recognition and recognition of the, the service of the city of West Memphis and uh, West Memphis Police Department. We would like to congratulate you on your retirement. You showed your dedication and loyalty to the city and the citizens of our community from April of 1994 to October of 2021, and we would like to acknowledge your 27 years of service. Congratulations on your retirement, and we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Marco McClendon of the city of West Memphis, do hereby formally recognize you and urge all citizens of the city of West Memphis to give you special recognition to Lieutenant Dyke and his accomplishments. Thank you. Sir. Chief also has some awards. I'm going to let him, uh, you know. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank, thank the mayor and the city council for this opportunity to come and make a special presentation to some of the men and women who serve the West Memphis Police Department and the citizens of West Memphis. Uh, normally, we give out awards for officer of the month, of that type, but over the course of the last month, the men and women that sit out here in this audience and those who are on the street now, they have been doing an outstanding job. They've been working uh, very hard, tireless hours, and the results are in. Uh, as Ms. Muhammad alluded to, we have made a substantial amount of arrests. We have uh, seized over 20 some uh, weapons. Uh, the narcotics division has uh, seized uh, a substantial amount of drugs. So what I decided to do for the month of October is I want to recognize four divisions for their hard work and outstanding goal work for the city of West Memphis, starting out with my criminal justice division, CID. As we alluded to, we have had a couple of serious uh, robberies, shootings, and those, I'm here today to announce to you that those cases have been closed aside because of the work and dedication of the men of the detective division of West Memphis Police Department. So for the month of October, I recognize CID, the vision of the month. <laughs> also, Walker come, Moses Walker come up and take this award, be placed into the uh, CID's uh, office for detectives. Um, the position I'm in in criminal investigations, uh, the main thing is, is that we all be professional, we do our jobs, and we investigate the crimes as they come across our desk, but also to advocate for my detectives, and they've been working exceptionally hard uh, lately and doing a great job, so we appreciate the recognition. Next division I'd like to recognize would be our the patrol division. I'd like for Captain Presley to come up and accept this award for the men and women patrol division. Um, I'm accepting this award for the guys out there beating the street every day. This is not for me, this is not for 
you know, let's stand up here. This is for those guys. They're working their tail end off. We are sure everybody knows that, and they're still going strong. They're not slowing down. So thank y'all. The next division I'd like to recognize would be our narcotics division. Uh, they're tasked with a lot of things that I can't speak of. They're doing an outstanding job. But of course, you know we have a, uh, the Tennessee, I mean, the Drug Task Force here in uh, Arkansas. I'd like to have uh, Lieutenant Brent Bradley come to see this award. Uh, just to reiterate what Captain Presley said, this is not about me, it's about the guys. I got a four-man unit and they work day and night, endless, uh, so got to give it to them. Thank you. The lifeline of the Westminster Police Department is our dispatchers. I'd like to recommend that we do all the hard work, we receive all the calls, uh, they stand the test, they uh, take the calls, they don't want calls. They dispatch off to the scene, and they often get forgotten uh, divisions that nobody actually sees, but you hear their voices on the phones and radios. So I would like for uh, Major Al to come set this war for the dispatchers. Okay, over the course of the last week, I knew you all, everybody knows about the shooting that took place at the Shell gas station. Um, and because of the hard work and dedication and the training that they also received for Westminster Police Department, uh, when they made the scene, uh, the female victim was in distress and they performed life-saving skills that I believe helped save her life. And I want to uh, give out Three life saving awards to those also who made the scene. Starting out with Officer Gregory Bowman. Next life saving award goes to Officer Ismail Clay. Last but certainly not least, the next off state award goes out to Sergeant Kevin Joy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank all of our officers and our emergency workers.
announcements. Uh, we have a flu shot clinic tomorrow at 12 o'clock at the utility department. Yes. Also, we have another meeting at Weaver this Tuesday, Weaver Elementary this Tuesday at 6 p.m. I had no citizen requests. Was there anything that anyone else needs? Any council <coughs> people to add? I'd like to make an uh, I just wanted everyone, please don't forget uh, on 11 11 that we would have the veteran parade here in West Memphis. Like I say, it's be 50 plus years since we've had a veteran, acknowledged our veterans here in the city of West Memphis, Crittenden County, really. Thank you. Right. Were there any other announcements? Hearing none, I entertain a motion to dismiss. So moved. Second. On favor, aye. Aye. Opposed?